Good evening, Page families. I'm Stacy Brown, principal of William Tyler Page Elementary School, and this is my fifth year. I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2019-2020 Back to School Night. We're excited again to use a video welcome message format that will allow you more time in your child's classroom. As we start our new year, I'd like to say welcome and buen venidos to our new and present Page Elementary School families. Next, as our school has also grown structurally, all fourth and fifth grade students and one third grade immersion class are in the learning cottages outside of our building. With this growth, we have lost most of our blacktop. However, we should be receiving additional blacktop very soon. And finally, we are now in our sophomore year of our full Spanish immersion and Spanish world language programs. The world language program exposes students that are not in the full Spanish immersion program to Spanish once a week for 40 to 45 minutes. We continue to be a school of language learners, Spanish immersion and English academy, where knowledge of language is one more window from which to look at the world. Before we opened our doors this school year, we had a beautification day where several community members as well as staff and students joined in to spruce up our school campus. Our open house was a huge success with the addition of a page back to school bash where families met in the cafeteria to have hot dogs, chips, and a drink. The full Spanish immersion program continues to expand and this year we have added additional second grade classes, bringing the total to two second grade classes. Then we have one third grade class and one fourth grade immersion classroom. This year, we also have received additional funding to purchase more books to support the program. Students that are not in the immersion program will continue to take Spanish as a world language. Here is a video from last year as students in the world language class are learning Spanish. Yo me llamo Kyle. No, no, she's going to ask you and then you ask her, okay? Okay, going. The last highlight is the additional 50 new touchscreen Chromebooks with a charging cart for our kindergarten students and the updated visitor management system with upgraded cameras. And now, here is Ms. Jones with our school safety and security reminders. For safety reasons, parents, please do not bring students to school before 8.40 a.m. However, if your child arrives to school after 9 a.m., you must escort him or her to the office and sign them in. You are not permitted to drive into the bus loop to drop off at any time. The yellow line is the bus loop. For car arrival, please enter the car loop and pull all the way up to the crosswalk. For transportation home, we request more consistency in how your child gets home from school. If you pick up your child in a car three days or more, please use the car loop area and your car tag. If you are in the carpool line, you must remain in your car with your car tag number visibly displayed on the dashboard or hanging on the rearview mirror so that the staff on duty can see the number. The red line and star is the carpool loop. Students who are walkers or occasional car riders must exit out the walker door near the gym and parents should park their cars on the street and walk up to the walker exit side door. The blue heart is the walker door location. You are not permitted to drive into the bus loop to pick up students at any time. Once again, the red line and star is the carpool loop. The blue heart is the walker door location and the yellow line is the bus loop. Here are a few security updates. In order to ensure the safety of students and staff in the school with the current emergency experiences happening in the world today, we adhere to the following guidelines. We conduct the following drills each school year. We have five fire drills and seven safety drills that include shelter in place, lockdown, evacuation, reverse evacuation, severe weather, earthquake, and active shooter drill. The seven minute emergency preparedness video is located on the MCPS website that gives detailed information. We strongly encourage you to view it. 
Visit the How to Receive MCPS Emergency Information on the MCPS website. Reminder, before you volunteer in the classroom and other areas in the school or accompany field trips, parents or guardians are required to take the child abuse and neglect video training every three years. We keep a record of completion on file. Reminder, please update student emergency information. We have sent home a paper copy of this form. Check over the form and if no changes need to be made, it does not need to be returned. If there are changes to your information, please send it back with the changes or make updates using my MCPS parent portal. Applications for families of students who may qualify for free or reduced price meals were sent home. Please visit the table with Ms. Gilchrist, Parent Community Coordinator, to receive a form or use the Chromebook to apply online. And finally, we encourage you to stay connected throughout the year by using the My MCPS Parent Portal, Page, and PTA websites, weekly connected messages that are sent Sunday and sometimes midweek, grade level communications from teachers, and Twitter updates. And now a message from the Page PTA. We will end the video message with pictures of our amazing Page staff. Have a great evening. Hi, my name is Tiffany Rogers and I am the PTA Vice President. I wanted to welcome you to the 2019-2020 school year and I want to thank you for all of our families who are PTA members who have joined to support our PTA again this year. We can't do it without you. What is the PTA and what do we do? We advocate on behalf of our school. For example, we were able to secure another teacher for our Spanish Immersion Program. We also were able to help with books and equipment for the playground. We are able to um, provide fundraisers so that we can get more materials for our classrooms. We advocate on behalf of our teachers and our children as well, and you. So what can you do to join and support the PTA? You can pay your membership dues. Those are a special rate until tonight and then the membership goes up, so make sure you join today. You can participate in our monthly PTA meetings. You can also attend our socials, events, and fundraisers. One is coming up on September 24th at Lido's Pizza. You can also join a committee or even lead a committee. We just want you to be part of our community so that we can support our school, our teachers, and most importantly, our children. PTA Myth 1. Only moms and teachers need to join the PTA. Fact. Anyone who cares about children belongs in the PTA. Parents, guardians, family members, school staff, and community members are always welcome and encouraged to join the PTA. PTA Myth 2. PTA membership never expires. I only have to join once. Fact. Each new school year begins a new PTA membership year. Your PTA membership will be good for the current school year. And PTA Myth 3. Joining the PTA means I have to volunteer. Fact. While we do encourage you to volunteer, it's fun we will not suck you into a black hole of volunteering.